Good morning, students, once again. Today, we are going to take a look at another interesting topic in mathematics. In our last class, we were talking about how to find the surface area and the total surface area of a closed uh, cylinder. Today, we are going to take a look at um, volume of a cylinder. Volume of a cylinder. How to calculate the volume of a cylinder. And this topic is just two topic, and we are in week three of it. So we will continue. But before we move on, I remember in our last class, I gave you one small class work which I want to show you a little bit how of how to answer it in the way we were doing it last week. Let's see how we can do that. This was given to you all as a, as assignment to take home to calculate. So, in our last class, if you can recall, we were looking at how to find the total surface area of a closed cylinder. Up here is closed, down here is also closed. So, today we are going to take a look at that once again before we go into the new topic. The formula, if you can recall, the formula for that is 2 pi radius squared plus 2 pi radius height. That is h. So, in that case, we were given this to be and then we are going to quickly look at that but without wasting time we'll move on and handle that so pi is to be taken as 22 all over 7 remember the value of pi was 22 all over 7 and then radius even though the diameter is given, we can divide the diameter by 2 as we did last time. As in 2 divided by, by 2. That will give you 1. So 1 cm for the radius. So we can now say radius is equals to 1. And then what are we going to do? The height of that cylinder is 3. Let us quickly uh, put this. In the formula so that we can conclude pi is 22 all over 7 this is pi pi is 22 all over 7 that is pi and then uh, we also have um, radius don't forget radius is cost is one now no longer this it's not this was the diameter so we want to use radius this is one so pi radius squared so it means one times one all over one all over one now that is for the others for that side so plus this other side is the same thing the same thing there's something we need quickly to fix in which we could not fix in at first let me fix that in. Don't forget these two, we need to account for it. Two times that, number one. So the same thing happened to this side too. This same two here times pi, which is 22, all over 7, all over 1, times height, no, times radius, which is 1 times height was 3. So, so that we can have enough space that we'll be able to calculate that one very well. We will bring it this way so that we can have space. 2 times 22 all over 7 times radius which is 1 times another radius which is 1 
all over 1, all over 1, plus this other side again is this very 2, look up here, this 2 times 22, all over 7, times radius, radius which is 1, which is times 1, times 1, all over 1, times height, which is 3, all over 1. If you take a look at all these, you discover something. You don't need to go wasting time, you need to quickly look at it. This 2 times this is going to give you 44 all over 7. 44 all over 7. As for 4 divided by 7. While this one will be 44 times 3 all over 7. 4 times 3 all over 7. 4, 4 times 3 all over 7. If you take your time and do it well, you will learn as the answer, which I'm not going to spoon feed you for that, but I know if you do it very well, you have 6.2 here, approximately 6.2. When you divide this by that, you have 6.2 plus. If you also multiply it out and do it very well in your calculation, which I don't want to spend time here with you. You go and do that and arrive, check what you have. This one, if you do it well, you have 18.8 approximately. So when you add both of them together, you will eventually have 25. Sorry, my hand is used to 22 over 7. So this is 25 cm as the answer. This is what you were given as your homework. But we have done that before in, in many examples. And then let us go into today's work as we take a look at the question that we are going to handle this way before we finally wrap up. As I mentioned before, we are going to take a look at um, volume of a cylinder volume of a cylinder take a look at that how to find the volume of a cylinder you will hear me talk about capacity because it has the capacity of the cylinder there and there look at the formula here find the volume of the cylinder and then you will hear me talk about the capacity because you will eventually check the, what is the capacity so when you find the volume, for you to find the capacity, you divide it by 1,000. That one is constant. And then we always say 1 liter is equals to 1,000 centimeters cubed. Now let's see. Let's take a look at that. In this question, how many liters does a cylinder can? A cylinder can. Does a cylinder can? Maybe a can of bone vitter or a cylinder can that is like this. How many liters does a cylinder can? Four cent 14 centimeters in diameter, which is here, the diameter here, in diameter and 20 centimeters high from here to there 20 centimeters high how many liters does it contain can it contain now you say use pi use the value 22 all over 7 for your pi now let's quickly handle that together as you look at it so we continue here, we have the formula already, we know, uh, which I will just put it down again. The volume is equals to pi radius squared and times pi. So 
that is the formula there. Now let's take the formula and then see. In taking the formula, we say pi is equals to 22 all over 7. Then radius, radius is found there. Now radius there, radius is equals to 14. Not radius per se, not radius per se. What the, the diagram is telling us is diameter. Then then we will quickly do that by finding the radius. Radius in this case is going to be this 14. Look at the, the circle here. The circular bottom. It means from here to here is 14. But then the, at the center, half of that is what we are talking about, which is look at another circle which is going to give you a mental picture of what we are talking about. It means from here to the center is 7. That's what we are saying. So radius in this case is 7 cm. And then the height, the height is given here to be 20. So height, height here, look at the board, everybody, is 20 centimeters. Okay, now let's see. We have stated the formula. We have also outlined what is expected to be uh, fixed inside the formula here. Volume is equal to, in place of pi, you write 22 all over 7 times, not diameter this time around. We are going, not going to work with diameter, we are going to use radius. Times radius to be 7 all over 1 times another 7 all over 1. That is what we are looking at now. Now, the, 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 the question say 20 centimeters high times 20 centimeters all over, all over one. So, look at that. That one is as simple as ABC. You have that one. If you take time and do your calculation very well, you will have it this way 7 cancels 7. So you are left with volume is equal to 22 times 7 times this 20. In that case, if you take your time to multiply it very well with your calculator or your mental approach. You can have it to be 3080 centimeters cube. So, there was a capacity, the carrying capacity of that in liter, in terms of that. So, I have told you already, capacity is always volume all over 1000. Where we have already mentioned it already that 1000 liters is equal to that. There in the formula. Remember, this is what we are talking about. Volume is going to be over, divided by 1000. We have the volume here. This is the volume. Then the carry capacity there is going to be C all over 1000. Meaning C is equal to V all over 1000, which is um, volume is given already to be 3080. Now, capacity is going to be 3080 3, all over 1000 centimeters cube. You divide it like that. Any number you divide one by 1,000, remember how you were taught? Simply count it to the left. That one, I don't, I don't need to remind you that. The answer here is going to be 
8 liters. That one you can ask me how I get it because you were taught how to divide a number by 1000, how to divide a number by 10. Just one, two, three zeros, one, two, three, fix a point. That's why you see the points there. That is it so far in this example. Now let's take a look at another example so that will be uh, clarified. For maybe, please, timekeeper, you have to let us know as we move. We have to take time there to calculate this one. This number two. Now look at the board. This one again. A drum. A drum 40 centimeters high. A drum 40 centimeters in diameter. Contains 88 liters of oil. 40 centimeters in diameter. 88 liters of oil. Use the value 22 all over 7 here again for pi to calculate the depth of oil in the drum. In the drum, let me so that you do not think it's one word. In the drum, 